Um, there's a lot of smoke. It, it sounds pretty bad. Well, this is not the video I thought I was going to be making today, but um, I'm pretty sure Jaren blew up or Miata, or something on it, it's very, very broken. Hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. Also, Happy New Year. Speaking of Christmas, Jaren has been back from her college break, and I really wanted to make a video or something with her while she was here, but she was just too busy, and she wasn't here for long enough. But anyways, I gave her the Miata over the break. She drove it a bunch, and it was, you know, it was okay. And she calls me Christmas night at like 11 o'clock, poor girl. And she said that she like thinks something blew up, traumatic, smoke everywhere. Didn't get too much more detail than that. So it was also really late and I'm sure it's pretty hard to diagnose whenever it's those conditions. So we've got to go pick the Miata up. Thankfully I do own a winch and a truck and trailer so we can get the car home and see what in the world happened. I genuinely don't know what's going on. I got a couple more ads to do before the end of the year. So this video is brought to you by Bosley, and we'll talk about them here in a second, but I've just gotta go hook up the trailer. I kinda wanna call Jaren just to see, just to get a little more detail before I head out. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey, okay, so what um, what exactly happened um, to the Miata? Like everything? Yeah, I just wanna know so I can get prepared, I guess. Well, I mean, the transmission was getting hot. Like the, the shifter I'm was? underneath the cup holders and like near the shifter, like all of that area. Okay, interesting. Did the engine, was the engine making any noises or anything? Not that I know of. Okay, so there wasn't like any knocking sounds that were loud or whatever? Like a sound. <laughs> okay, what color was the smoke? Was it like white or was it like a blue tint? Could the you tell? The smoke was white, like white grayish. You might have blown a head gasket or something. Where was the smoke coming from? Was it coming out of the exhaust? No, it lifted from like the center of the car in like the shift area, and then it was coming out of the hood too. Interesting, okay. Does it start? I haven't tried to start it again, okay. but I'm sure it would. And you were able to like go through all the gears when you parked it and stuff, right? Like it still goes into gear? Yeah, it does. Okay, all right, well, I'll figure it out. I'm sure it might not be too bad. I'll let you know soon. And there's a lot of smoke, it, it sounds pretty bad. <laughs> it's fixable. Well, I'm gonna go pick it up and I'll let you know. Love you, bye, be safe. All right, so it sounds like it's about to get interesting. This is why I didn't want her to bring her Miata to school because it's an old car and stuff happens. I'm like, drive your Focus, you'll be safe, you can get there and back. Miata's not the answer <laughs> for you right now. All right, well, I've got my tools, some gloves. I don't know why I'm still wearing these. It's like 45 minutes away and it's just sitting in a parking lot. I'm really hoping I can uh, start the car. Before we keep going with this video, we have a quick word from our sponsor. This video in particular is brought to you by Bosley. Now, hair loss may or may not be something that concerns some of you. I know I have some young ones, but I know I also have some my age and older. And what I have to say before I start is hair loss, if especially if it's hereditary, is definitely something you should consider before it starts happening. Bosley is America's number one hair restoration experts. They've had over 45 years of experience and have done almost half a million hair restoration procedures. If you guys don't know about them, they do offer the latest technology in hair restoration for both surgical and non-surgical applications, meaning they offer permanent surgical solutions. They also offer FDA approved medications. Um, and what I do want to say, guys, if especially if it's hereditary and you guys have your dad, your grandfather, or even your mother or your grandmother, that stuff can be hereditary. And if it runs in your family, one thing I will say is the quicker you act on it, the more options you will have. And the longer you wait, the more you start to let your hair go, the harder it's going to be to retain that and to get it back. They offer free in-person and video consultations so that they can make sure you have uh, the best solution for you personally. If you go to bosley.com, com slash shanks or just click the link that I've got for you below. They're giving away a free information kit and a $250 gift card for you guys to use. Big thanks to Bosley for sponsoring this guys. If you're struggling with hair loss or you think you might in the future, please give that link a shot. Click that link. You guys can get the gift card. You guys can get the free information kit, a free estimate, you name it. Now back to the video. So apparently it's in this parking lot somewhere and I have no idea where it is. Dude, this is not the most trailer accessible place, but Jaren, I don't blame you, because what else were you gonna do? There it is. 
So she's actually on the road already. She's going back to San Antonio because she's got to get back to school. I'm curious. I'm really curious. Her boyfriend's dad was with, or like, which has showed up and said that he thinks it's the transmission. So well, I don't know. Something's obviously very broken because anytime a car smokes abundantly, it's never a great sign. Hopefully it's not like a blown head gasket. It is a transmission. I might just get her a NB Mazda Speed 6 speed or something and well. <laughs> get her ready for some boosties. It's my, it's my spot now. Universal sign that I'm not moving for a bit. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna check out is if there is there any fluid all over the ground? It doesn't really look like there would be, so we might be in the clear. Um, uh, nope, there is no oil or anything under the car. So it smells like smoke in there. I need to pop the hood real quick. I do wanna see, I do wanna see if there's any fluid or anything any water looks like we're good i don't even i don't even smell any smoke so maybe it really is just like a, a trans issue so let's go ahead let's see if i can even go through the gears that's going to be the main issue here clutch reservoir is fine so it goes into well so when the car's off it's going into gears but when it's on it might be a different story the next question is does it start i wonder so it's possible and Especially if uh, it is low on transmission fluid, which I don't know why it would be, but especially if it is low on trans fluid, could have roasted the trans, even though I'm going into gears at a stop, so. Okay. Motor is totally fine. What about... Okay, it goes into reverse. It goes into first. I'm really confused. Obviously something's going on. Is it smoking in the back or anything? No. Engine is totally fine. Dude, I wonder, I wonder if it just needs a, like a refresh on some trans fluid or something. Uh, that requires a lift and I wouldn't do it in a parking lot. So either way, Jaren, let's get your Miata back to my place and get her strong again. She was very concerned. She's like, Evan, please bring stuff so that you don't, so that my side skirts don't get hurt. Yeah, duh, I paid for them. I'm not gonna, I don't want them to break either. Well, I don't have the 10 millimeters for her bumper, so. I'm thinking there's a large chance I might be buying Jaren a KBD bumper after this. It's coming off. Well. And. It's gonna be bad? Yeah. Did it come off? It snapped in half. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> <Play pasta. laughs> Yo, I'm about to expose the hell out of Jaren, boys. What is this? You had it for a week. Look at this curb rash, no. What is this, no, dude. Oh, it's so bad. This one's not curbed. All right, so she only, she only curbed one. I think I'm just gonna buy her a poly lip because um, this is just gonna happen every time something it has to hop onto a trailer, so. Bye. Mwah. <laughs> broke here and here before, so it broke at the fix and then right here, yeah, I could probably get Delira to fix, I mean, Delira could fix this in probably a day, but I'd rather her get a poly lip so that uh, she can be low and not worry. So, turns out we both broke the Miata just a little bit. I just hit up Irving from KBD. We're gonna get her polyurethane front lip, so that's not a big deal. The only concern is I, I wasn't there to see how much smoke it was, but apparently it was like tremendous amounts of smoke. And what concerns me about that is it would have had to get really hot. And Jaren said that it got really hot on the inside of the car and around the transmission tunnel and everything. So I'm almost a little bit worried that something could have like melted or there's like, there's a lot of things that could potentially go wrong. We need to drain the old fluid out of it, see how much was in it, and hopefully there's no metal chunks.
much, but... This is gonna hurt you guys a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. So the oil is water is contaminant free. The radiator is dry, but you if it was a head gasket, you would have uh, you'd have water in the oil. Interesting. I don't know. This is that's really interesting. I'm always I'm always inclined to think that white smoke is a water issue. I mean, maybe an oil does float on top of water, so maybe it's like down there. I mean, I'm definitely curious. So there's definitely not Sometimes you can tell right here. It's like foamy. Oh, nope, nope, no foam or anything like that. Poured a lot of water in there so far. Which is crazy because before I handed it off to her, it was, it had water, so. Uh, maybe a gallon in it. A gallon low? I wonder, I hope the engine didn't overheat then. I wish like, I mean, she didn't, I don't think she knows enough to like look at the gauges and see like what was too hot. Maybe I should ask her that, but. So we're running it. Do you think it could be water pump dead or maybe like thermostat is closed, oh, stuck yeah, closed or something? It is closed right now. It's actually good because I was slightly worried when you said she blew the motor off. <laughs> These are not easy to find cheap replacements. Yeah. Which it's is so wet. crazy because they, I mean, they used to be 400 bucks when yeah. I owned a Miata. A brand new, or not brand new, but like a decent 1.8 with good compression was like 400 bucks. But that was years and years ago. She said she heard a hiss when it, she was on the phone and like transmissions don't go hiss. That's like the healthiest sounding 1.8 I've I've heard. What if the heater core popped inside the car? Yeah, that's also. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. The heater core's broken? So, so, oh no, it's a hose. Okay. It's rear heater hose. Oh, it's leaking a decent amount though. Yep. Think that's what it is? Oh yeah, for sure. So it would have dripped all that water on down onto the exhaust and the header and all that. And then that just sort of just started smoking, so. All right, guys, we found it. There is a, on the back of the engine. It looks like these were replaced. I don't know, it wasn't by me, but uh, maybe a shop just didn't tighten that down. So there is a water line on the back that is dripping a lot, which makes sense because this radiator was empty. Again, I wish I was there because I probably could have just been like, oh yeah, it's fine. But she did say it was hissing, which does mean it's water probably sizzling on that exhaust. We'll get it on the uh, lift and we'll start diagnosing, but I'm glad it wasn't the trans. I think the engine is as healthy as it could be, so small fix. Yeah, so the car definitely just overheated. So I knew I figured it wasn't a transmission. That's like, that doesn't just happen on these cars. Cool. That's a really easy fix. And I'm really proud of Jaren for knowing to uh, not freak out and pull it over and turn it off as soon as possible. Good on you, Jaren. I'll get the bumper fixed. I got a KBD one coming. You can actually see a, a, a trail of water. Oh my God. Ooh, there's, ton, there's a ton. There's a ton, a lot of water. Well, that's awesome because I uh, would not have wanted to buy another motor or rebuild this one. She's not gonna be back for a couple months, so it'll stay up here for a little while. I'll get it prepped and maybe we'll turbo it while she's gone and surprise her when she's back. Hi. Hi. You had a major water leak and, oh, I can hear it now. Look, you can hear it. It's sizzling right now. You had a major water leak and your car overheated. That's all. That's literally it. You have water that goes through your engine to keep it cool. And there was a hose that wasn't tight on the back of the motor and you were losing a ton of water. And so basically you got a bunch of air in there, really hot water, it starts steaming, starts burning, it gets out. And then once your engine gets hot enough, boom, smoke. So I'm proud of you for turning your car off as soon as possible because that can blow your motor sometimes. So that's it, rest easy, your car's fine. Be safe, love you, bye. Mwah. Well guys, just like old times, that was a day in my life. And there's a tractor on the road in front of my house. 
Texas, y'all. There's a lot of spoilers going on in the background. I have been doing a lot of miscellaneous filming, but I don't like to not make complete videos. I don't do the daily vlog type stuff anymore, except for when it's little things like this, because it's exciting. Got a lot of awesome stuff to show you guys in coming videos, especially with this thing back there, doing some more Civic stuff. Got some crazy stuff for the Supra. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn notifications on. It helps me out a ton. And what I'm going to leave on you guys today, uh, since the new year is right around the corner, I kind of say this every year, but I think it's really important. Now, nothing against New Year's resolutions. I think it's great. If you want to change, if you want to be better, ultimately, it's always good to just change your mindset, change your mentality, and be dedicated to something. But don't wait for a landmark, you know what I mean? Don't wait for a, a certain moment in time, because the longer you put something off or the longer you don't break that cycle that you wanna break, the harder it's going to be. But yeah, if you can learn to just be a better person on a day-to-day -day basis, you're less likely to drop whatever it is you want to be better at so my advice to you guys is if you have New Year's resolutions, maybe start before New Year's. Don't wait until January 1. You guys have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys to watch. I know you see them in front of you. It helps me out a ton if you continue watching my content. Also, it's just good stuff. So I mean like, so you know, like watch it. And have a good day. And subscribe. Bye.